You might have heard about the predator plants that trap kill and digest animal victims, mostly insects, but also the occasional snailed, lizard, or even small mammal. There are reports of plants that trap big animals as sheep. There is not recorded evidence of humans being trapped in big predator plants. I am not kidding it, they really exist. Recording of various reports say that around 600 species of predatory plants are available in the world. These plants get required nutrients by digesting these animals. In this video we will see top 10 plants that kill animals and how they do that. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all our latest and most exciting content. Number 10. Venus flytrap Carnivorous plants live all over the world but the Venus flytrap is native to select boggy areas in North and South Carolina. The leaves of Venus flytrap open wide and on them are short, stiff hairs called trigger or sensitive hairs. When anything touches these hairs enough to bang them, the two lobes of the leaves snap shut trapping whatever is inside. The trap will shut in less than a second. The trap constricts tightly around the insect and secretes digestive juices, much like those in your stomach. The Venus flytrap's primary prey is ants, but it will also eat flies, beetles, slugs, spiders and even tiny frogs. The Venus flytrap is listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species. Number 9. Killer Plants You believe it or not, there are trees in this forest that have hooks on their branches. Some animals while eating grass go near to these trees. They get caught in this trap and the more they try to get out, here is another one, the more under trap they become. And if they are not removed from there, they die. If no one looked after these animals they will die by starvation. Disagree? Feel free to comment below. Number 8. The Portuguese sundew is a very interesting and curious plant for several reasons. Compared with other carnivorous plants, it is one of the most successful hunters in terms of quantity of captured prey, and all with absolutely passive primitive adhesive traps only. Long tentacles protrude from their leaves, each with a sticky gland at the tip. These droplets look like dew glistening in the sun, thus their name. The glands produce nectar to attract prey powerful adhesive to trap it, and enzymes to digest it. Once an insect becomes stuck, nearby tentacles coil around the insect and smother it. Number 7. Tropical Pitcher Plants Native to the jungles and highlands of Southeast Asia, Nepenthes tropical pitcher plants are renowned for their wide variety of shapes and colors. The pitchers develop from tendrils at the ends of the leaves, and naturally filled with water to form a deadly trap for ants, termites, and other insects, also known monkey cups, because monkeys have been observed drinking rainwater from these plants. All Nepenthes species are carnivorous plants that capture their prey by means of modified pitcher-shaped leaves that function as passive pitfall traps. Many pitcher plants trap not only insects, but also rodents including mice and rats, and the new species. Number 6. The water eel plant is closely related to the Venus flytrap. In fact, it is basically just a small, aquatic version of its famous big brother. They are entirely aquatic and float freely, without roots just below the surface of the water. Whirls of tiny snap traps string together to form little plants three to four long. The traps snap shut on all kinds of aquatic creatures but they are prone to catching mosquito larvae by the head. They are extremely endangered in the wild. They're native to the Old World, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Number 5. 
Darling Tonia californica, also called the California pitcher plant, cobra lily, or cobra plant, is a species of carnivorous plant. It lures, traps, and dissolves insects with its pitcher-shaped leaves. Insects are lured to the slippery pitchers by color and nectar. Once the insect enters the bulbous top of the pitcher it becomes disoriented by the translucent quality of the leaves. Then, the insect has a difficulty determining which way to exit. Eventually, the insect gets trapped inside the tube and slides downward toward the bottom of the pitcher where it is dissolved and absorbed as nutrients by the plant. Number 4. Butterworts have leaves that lie flat on the ground, and function like fly paper. They secrete a sticky mucus substance, which makes the leaf look wet and inviting. It lures in unsuspecting insects, and that's when the ruthless part begins. By landing on the sticky leaf, hapless mosquitoes and midges unwittingly sign their own death warrants. While struggling to escape, the insects trigger the release of digestive enzymes from the butterwort leaf. These enzymes slowly break down and liquefy the soft parts of the insect's body. Once the leaf absorbs this nitrogen-rich liquid, all that's left are a few indigestible remnants, a bit of hard skin, and the wings and feet. Number 3. Genlezi, a relative of the bladder worts, has evolved yet another trapping mechanism, the corkscrew trap. These corkscrew plants grow in very wet environments such as dripping, mossy wefts, seasonally inundated wetlands and swamps. These fossorial leaves turned traps are distally bifurcated, an upside down Y shape. Both ends of the Y are twisted like a corkscrew creating a tunnel leading back up the inside of the trap. The slit-like entrance to the hollow tunnel is lined with bristle-like structures pointing inwards and upwards allowing for prey to proceed in one direction only, further into the trap. Once prey exits the corkscrew section of the trap, it enters a slightly swollen digestive chamber where nutrients are extracted from the prey. Number 2. Pink Lady's Slipper also known as Moccasin Flower may look delicate, but is a hardy plant, able to withstand the cold winters of northern Ontario. With its bright pink flower and an enticing scent, Lady's Slipper is an inviting target for our native bumblebees. They crawl into the slipper searching for nectar, but find none. Number 1. The trigger plant gets its name from its unique pollination method. When an insect investigates a trigger plant flower, it is hit with a club-shaped column that quickly springs up from under the petals. The insect's feeding activity disturbs small filaments in the center of the flower, activating the column. On the end of the column are male and female flower parts. The male parts deposit pollen on the insect and the female parts can be fertilized by pollen on the insect if it has already been hit by another trigger plant. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.